uh, congratulate you. So I'm so, so happy to have Dr. Vedant with me. He's a proud Damsonian and he's secured a rank 29 in INICT November 23 session. Very, very proud of you, Vedant, and congratulations. Thank you so much, ma'am. <laughs> And Vedant, first of all, I want to know ki how do you feel because I know it's a long journey for all you bachas. You all are starting to get ready for the start. The journey is long, it's so difficult. But all is well that ends well, right? Yes, ma'am. It's sort of, the feeling is sort of relief, ma'am, because like you study for a very long time and you finally get rid of it. You don't have to prepare anymore. And uh, you're getting a good, like, good branch with the same, with this rank. Like, ma'am, I'm more than happy. I'm relieved that I don't have to do it any, anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I can I can uh, feel that, and I know what it what it is like. But I must say, uh, Vedant, we all know that rank is good. It's very good. But behind it, there is a lot of hard work, right? And if I believe you, you've been uh, you know you started your journey right in the second year itself with us. So I want to start from that phase, that Vedant, to the Vedant that we are seeing now as a topper in the exam, right? How yeah. did you travel through this journey? What changes did you necessarily make in your strategy as you kept coming closer to the exam? Ma'am, basically during the second year, third year, wherever, like during the MBBS year, you just have to build your basics. And uh, like I was attend, I used to attend the classes and I used to get the basics done. So like I'm right. not used to you know, think too much, didn't really, like, even I used to solve the MCQs, but I did not think too much of it by, like, I mean, MCQs solve not happening, I used to not get worried during that time. I used right. to get, like, I used to get the notes compiled, or I used to get the, you know, basics clear during that time. And when the internship started, I started doing more, like, GTs and more, like, focus on the MCQs point. And, okay. uh, uh, like, as a, like, I prepared as if like uh, as a competitive exams itself. Like I did not you know dwell into the entire way theory and all. I just focused on the MCQ points and the previous year questions, and uh, right. did regularly uh, GTS and uh, I attended the TNT sessions as, as well, ma'am. And it was okay. very helpful. And finally, that what led led me to here. I thank you. I think yes, you put in a lot of effort. I can see that, and I see a well planned journey as well. Also, Vedant, you know, uh, since we know that this paper was very different from what it is otherwise. And yes, uh, was... I, I think my take is that the paper needed a good depth of content, right? Uh, ah, a content yeah. which you are thorough with, but at the same time, you know, you're able to cover it up in a competitive, for a competitive exam as well. So, if I divide exam preparation in four parts, mein divide karu, Vedant, to main, I would want to know your strategy on each. For example, my first would be content building. Uh, the second, as you already mentioned, is your uh, you know MCQ practice. The third, I want to know about your revision strategy, and fourth, the exam day strategy, bacha. Uh, ma'am, especially my mind, the biggest, strongest pillar was content building, ma'am. Like I used to focus more on building the basics. I, yes, uh, yes. So I think that's I, why you're here as well. That is why you have secured yeah. a top-notch rank. Right. And uh, and like I used to do the basics very clearly, and I used to I was so interested in knowing the topics and going uh, like going getting uh, back from the postings and getting to know more about the things, diseases, cases, and all. I was right. good with that, man. But and the MCQs also I was like fine with. I'm not that great, but I can like if I started when I started solving this, like the practice right. got me into it. Right. And but the revision where I lack, man. Like I, I did not do it properly. I had not prepared it actually. So the I had prepared the very lengthy notes, and those notes couldn't have been, you know, done in the uh, like in the last one month or so, man. So what I did is like I just stick to the T and D and Joby pre previous topics to Joby Watson. I did it regularly, and I did it bar bar, and uh, that and that's the thing which gave me confidence. Okay, I can attend this exam. Like even though even though I might not remember many things which I have learned. But these are good enough to tackle the exam. And coming on the exam day, as such, like uh, what I like, how is it? it was just like new pattern exam, ma'am. But and everyone said that it is a bit easier for them. But I felt the new pattern was more uh, like was it, like it had a precipitating factor of time, ma'am. Like because yeah. two hundred questions in one eighty minutes, we had a freedom to do it anytime. But forty five minutes, fifty mm -hmm. questions is like we have to do it in a within a stipulated time. 
and uh, that was like i went somewhere like i did so many silly mistake during that time so i feel ki, like whenever like, i feel for juniors like when they give the next exam na, so i feel that you have to be very time bound and do it within a, like if it is 45 minutes you have to do it in the 35 or 40 minutes and try to do it in like lesser time so they get oriented to the exam day very well and there were so many confusing options so obviously this aims aims is such a exam that it has con- controversial questions and options and all so and apart from that they every all like i i would say like 120 to 130 questions were like free previous year questions or previous year topics man and it can be easily done from this only great and i think what is the most important part of the journey that i think you also followed as a strategy was uh, that you know when you were first building your content you went into the width of it Yes, right ma'am. so you you covered the width you covered the depth yeah. everything but as you kept coming closer which is what is the very very important part like you took up tea and point. you went retrograde after that i think that is very very wise now to mm-hmm. 19 subjects going from end to end every time becomes very difficult so uh, that is how tnt helps you know it tells you what topics to focus on and on those topics yes you can go into more depth so i want to know vedant do you think the tnt papers Uh, covered a lot of material at, at the same yeah. time give you an idea on the topics that are important yes ma'am tnd are actually very helpful like it gives like cross section like it gives one question and you learn from one question and you cover so many topics important for the exam and right. uh, it, it it stimulates you to study about the topics which are in week also ma'am that's right and uh, vedant also can you tell us a little about your uh, uh, grant test strategy when exactly do you suggest that people should start doing it how useful are the gt videos because i think looking at this paper more than knowing the entire content it was also yeah. about uh, ruling out options quite a lot aur usme approach to mcq aur wo jo ek video discussion hota hai jisme bas is इंटर्नशिपोर्ट डिफिकल्ट and okay. and i used to it easy like scoring systems and uh, bishop score was was up i used to do it like i kept in one notes ma'am and uh, okay. at the one week i just did that and previous year questions i did once more again and i went okay. wonderful like, and now some insight yeah and some insight on the exam now do you you know do you feel that there was a skewed distribution of subjects or what subjects as per you are most important and when somebody is starting now for the may exam what subjects do they tackle first and which ones can they keep for the later part of the study like i feel ma'am the difficult and trickiest questions come from uh, second year topics ma'am okay. pharma okay. arts and micro ma'am like okay. basic first of all if you read it once even during internship you can solve it most of the questions but okay. pharma arts and micro there are lots of trickier questions they can ask from because they can even link to the clinical things also ma'am. so i feel that everyone has to first focus on these second year topics and then cover topics but clinically i, I think everyone might have been well versed to their final year in internship ma'am so they can do the clinical subjects at the very end and also the biggest like uh, usually this exam did not carry much importance to the short subjects but i feel short subjects are should be done even them like uh, earlier yes yes they're very scoring you have to do limited material but if you know that content nicely nothing will come out of it that's the beauty of short subjects actually they add uh, to your score and yes. any input about the clinical subjects bache uh, a clinical subjects what i would say is uh, not like, do it retrogradely ma do it from the questions go from the tnd and get back because clinical subjects is such a vast topics and vast there is like 
you can't even cover those things in within such a stipulated time so i say do it uh, first solve the questions and then get back to the topics and you get to know what to study what not to study because studying everything is like like it, it doesn't even help anything then yeah, that's not possible actually uh-huh. and vedan dr sumer really wants to wish you as well because you know he's right. just waiting to <laughs> come into this Absolutely. congratulations thank you sir thank you so much sir awesome result and kaun sa branch lena chahta hai sir i felt i wanted to take surgery sir ah, but that's, uh, that's great that's um, great thank you sir. bahut maza aayega i think vedant uh, surgery mein ek alag hi thrill milta hai aur uh, uh, if you have a knack for that and if you if you love that yes. your life is never going to be uneventful right it's, <laughs> every day is eventful and uh, that's great and uh, vedant before i actually say thank you once again to you i really want to know suppose i am preparing for the upcoming exams may session what would be your advice to me from now onwards until may ma'am one is like uh, i would want uh, such a candidate to join a tnd or any such program ma okay. because like it, it gets a uh, schedule for themselves also like it, you can follow the tnd and finish the subjects by then and and we do start a special ini ct tnd in december you know which is focused specially for the may exams and it caters to topics that are specifically asked yes like that that's a very helpful thing ma'am like if you join a tnd your schedule right. is also good and uh, your topics will also be getting over as the tnd gets over and right. the other thing is like give regular gts and focus more on revision at this point Like do short, like do concise notes and repeat those notes again and again. Previous previous year questions, obviously everyone must have done. Like do it repeatedly again and get to know, analyze the things and what they might have asked again from the next exam. That's right. And now I have a query, like a like a junior listening to you. So how many or PYQs should we do? Because that is the constant query that we keep getting from all students, right? Like I have done. What the, what the dams Q Bank had offered, ma'am. I had done till twenty fourteen AIMS wala question paper, but I feel okay. that's enough. Because like if you go yeah, too old, that actually old, covers last ten years. Ah yes, ma'am. Like because if you go too old also, na there are a lot of outdated questions which are not. Ah, that's true. That's true. Or tab kya hota na? Us waqt wo wo answer relevant hota hai aur wo uh, ab lekin wo question uh, controversial ban jata hai because usme update aa gaya hai. So that is the risky. You have to take it with a pinch of salt. If you're going going too old. then yes you have to be careful ki aap bahut purana ya outdated answer nahi wo kar rahe ho agree totally agree and uh, vedan something motivating what kept you going i am sure you would have your ups and downs and yes, uh, it must have been some phases must have been tough for you despite the fact that you are a topper but i know you go through the same phases so how did you manage how did you tackle those phases like obviously ma'am there were lots of days when i used to feel low ma'am and i just used to take few days break and then get started like i like aches and burnouts are real na? and you have to take some breaks so that you rejuvenate and uh, then get back to it na? and the constant motivation was like i don't have to study again matlab i don't have to give the exam again that was the only yeah. motivation yes i know i know that's that's good so not to have a backup plan okay Because this is the long only process. exam that i have to clear मैं तो हमेशा बोलती हूँ दैट दिस स्ट्रेटजी वर्क इफ यू आर नॉट गिविंग योर सेल्फ अ बैकअप प्लान देन इट यू नो दैट दिस इज इट एंड यू हैव टू गो ऑल आउट सो आई थिंक दैट्स व्हाट यू आर ट्राइंग टू से जस्ट गो ऑल आउट राइट सो वेदांत यू हैव अ वंडरफुल पर्सनालिटी एंड यू विल टर्न आउट टू बी अ ग्रेट सर्जन एंड आई विश यू अ वेरी ब्राइट फ्यूचर अहेड आई वुड ऑल्सो यू नो कॉन्ग्रेचुलेट एज वेल एज यू नो आई एम श्योर योर पेरेंट्स आर वेरी प्राउड ऑफ यू दिस इज अ प्राउड मोमेंट and we wish you a very bright future ahead thank you for making dams a part of your journey god bless thank you much i want to thank all the dams team you know who are being part like i wouldn't have been here if not all of them so i want to thank all the dams team and thank you so much man thank you that's that's very sweet of you you know as teachers we can only guide you um, but i know there's a lot of hard work that you put in thank you for having faith in us we will uh, try and give our best every time we go out there take care bachcha thank you man take care